everyone. In today's video, I want to talk about the wash and care of your Cutie Blender. Um, for the purposes of talking about these Beauty Blender sponges and painting, I'm going to refer to them um, as Cutie Blenders uh, because I don't want you to, uh, people to see this and get confused and think that I'm using my makeup sponge that I use to apply my foundation um, to paint my dolls. Um, I would recommend if you happen to look in your makeup stash and you find that you have one of these little teardrop beauties um, to not use something that you've already used on your face and with your makeup even no matter how well you've cleaned it um, there's always going to be some residual uh, makeup left in the sponge and I can't guarantee how it'll work on the application of paint to the vinyl so when in doubt start with a brand new sponge um, that you've purchased and haven't used before. Okay, so for the Cutie Blenders, many of you probably are wondering, is this a one-time thing, I use it and then toss it, or is this something that I can use over and over? And I'm here to tell you that you can use these over and over. Um, I do recommend that you get enough of the Beauty or Cutie Blenders to um, have one sponge per color. So as you can see that this had a nice brown mixture all over it. I've used this to paint four babies and now I decided that I am going to um, clean it. I, ha I have had in my stash uh, the Genesis Artist Colors brush cleaner and it works perfectly for taking the paint out of and removing the residue of the Genesis heat set paint left behind on the Cutie Blender. So um, I would encourage you to um, experiment with hand soap or dish soap um, or other um, art brush soaps and see if that works for you. But this is what has worked for me. Um, if you're interested in purchasing the brush cleaner, I will provide a link below. So let's get started. So you're gonna have your dirty cutie blender, blender and you're gonna have your uh, brush cleaner of choice. And I'm gonna turn on the water and get it so it's kind of like a, I don't know, lukewarm. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, my cap is firmly on and I'm just gonna shake it and get some in the lid. I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to take my dry beauty blender that has, or cutie blender that has the, um, the paint on it and I'm gonna swirl it around in the lid. Just like that. And then I'm going to get it wet and I'm gonna start working it into a lather. Just like so. I'm gonna squeeze it. And you're gonna see the lather coming out and the paint. And now you can see how, look, it swole up. And I'm gonna take it and get more from the lid swirl it all around in there. When you're working with your beauty blend or your cutie blender, sorry, for your paint application, you, they are being used dry. You're not wetting them. They are to be used dry. You can experiment and try using them wet. I have never done that. Uh, for you people who do the air dry paints, I think it would work beautifully if they were slightly wet. I have not tested that, but I'm just hypothesizing. Okay, so there you go. So look at all that paint that is squeezed out. So I'm gonna take some more, and like I said, just like cleaning your brush, you really have to work it a couple of times until you get it so it's as clean as you want. I use the Cutie Blenders when my paint, when there's not a lot of paint left on my vinyl. So I don't really get a lot of wet soaking paint in my Cutie Blender. But it's good to kind of clean them every once in a while. And you work it into a lather. Oops. Works your hands. 
And please know that it, the paint will end up staining the vinyl or the cutie blender and that's okay. Make sure you rinse it really well. It should run clear. See, that's not running clear. Almost getting there. And when you squeeze it, you should see no more soap residue. Let's see. It's almost running clear. I've taken out the majority. So as you can see, there's still some slight foam from the soap, the brush cleaner. And with more rinsing, And when you're all done, I took a lot of the paint out. Just take a, any old paper towel or a rag and you're gonna squeeze it till it's dry or till nothing else comes out. So as you can see, there's no paint coming out on the paper towel. I'm gonna take another one. And then what I do is, I usually do this at the end of my painting when I'm not gonna paint for a while and let's say start rooting and I'm gonna let this dry. And eventually it'll shrink down after all the water has evaporated from it. It'll shrink down to the size I started with. And it'll be ready to paint your next round of babies. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions, post down below. Thanks for watching, bye.